My name is Banessa Tzeki and I represent the Nest Space. So the Nest Space is an inclusive uh, wellness center, we'd like to call it, like a boutique wellness center. And how it came about is my partner Anissa and I really felt othered in the yoga and wellness space in a lot of places we practice. And we really wanted to create an uh, environment and a space where irrespective of your color, gender, sexuality and ability, you were able to practice and connect to the true purpose of yoga. So right now we're at Shapa Soweto, which is one of my favorite places in the world. And this is a community center powered by Nike and stakeholders where I act as a, a coach a yoga coach and I have daily classes teaching people of all ages, genders and races yoga. Um, my yoga practice is predominantly in community-based yoga and I've only had the opportunity to do commercial yoga like at yoga studios and stuff and only in my training was I able to do community yoga so this sort of feels like full circle where I really get to practice in the spaces that I'm trained to practice. So the nest space is like a traveling camp right now, but some of the places we have practiced in is the Nelson Makomo Gallery. We really enjoy being at 58 Farmhouse, Nyrox. So 58 Farmhouse is a beautiful collective and what it is basically is creating a sacred space where people can sort of not have to travel too far but leave the city and sort of take a breather and be immersed in nature. What I do there is, along with my friend Radia, is we teach yoga sessions and, I mean, also a nest too because we do a lot of our retreats there. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I, see, I spend a lot of my time at Shapa. I spend a lot of time with my business partner, Nestu, figuring out the nest stuff. Uh, I teach, I'm a full-time yoga teacher, so I have about three to four classes a day. Um, when I'm not teaching, I love to eat, so I love going to like little Addis Ethiopian stuff and the vegan market, so I, anywhere where there's restaurants and food, I'm there. But I also, uh, my background is in events and entertainment and I'm still very much uh, a music promoter in that sense, so a lot of my friends um, have parties, so there's Strictly Soul, there's Pantone, um, there's so much going on uh, and I love to support my DJ friends, so I'm definitely still a party girl at heart. I'm very grateful and lucky to be working in spaces that are specifically targeted at inclusivity and community, so that's great. For me, it's really making sure, you know, understanding that in order to be inclusive, it needs to be an action and allowing people to just be on their journey. If they can't get into a certain posture, celebrate them for where they are and help them and promote them to get into the full extension. We had a zero waste store, we had a vegan cafe, and then we had the yoga studio. After COVID, we realized that the nest is its own entity. And if we're making yoga accessible for everyone, maybe it's not so much about having one space and rather having a space that travels. I think the people in Joburg are one of the most friendly group of people you can find in South Africa, but definitely the hustle as well it has a sense and an energy that you're here to create and be somebody and create something. And I find it very difficult to just be lazy and chilled in Joburg. I feel like you are sort of surrounded by people who are inspiring and doing inspiring things and it kind of propels you to want to do the same. I'm so glad I came here because I've never been in a space that recognizes, appreciates black talent. The mark that Joburg has created in me is that I'm definitely smarter than I think I am braver than I think I am and have a lot more love to give. The things in Joburg that I've achieved that I never ever thought I would and if it weren't for Joburg having that energy of just go for it. <laughs>